which GCC practicals are most likely to come up in the AQA exams for 2025? Well, I've got the data, suggestions, and also a special tip to help you the night before the exams to make sure that you get the best mark possible. Hey everyone, and welcome to Miss Estrick Biology. And I have been teaching biology since 2009 for GCC and A-level in schools and now online. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some data to help us work out potentially which practicals might come up in the GCC this year. But before we get on to that, I did say I had a special tip to help you the night before the exams, and that is my pick and mix lessons. Before paper one, I am doing a live GCSE lesson going through some of the hardest topics, making sure you know the key marking points and sharing tips from actual examiners with you. I also have a paper two one during the half term, so if you want to come along to those, I'll link those pick and mix lessons in the description for you. But back now to the data analysis and the required practicals. And I need to say a massive thank you to Miss Messam, who you can find at Miss Messam Biology Boost. This is another teacher who's been teaching since 2009 because we actually did our training together and she has done extensive research and data analysis to come up with these predictions. So give her a follow on Instagram as well, but let's get into what she has found from her results. Now I'm gonna be talking about both papers for combined and also for separate science. So let's start with combined science paper one. The three practical that based on her analysis she recommends you revise the most are microscopy, enzymes and photosynthesis. And here's why based on the data analysis. So for microscopy it did come up in 2018, 2019 and 2023 and again in 2024. That's four times already which might mean it's a bit unlikely. However for combined science it didn't come up in both foundation and higher tier in 2022 and 2020. So it might be time for it to recycle around again. For enzymes, this has not been on a combined science paper since 2021. So that practical is well overdue to be assessed. And then lastly, the photosynthesis recommendation. Well, this is actually one of the most assessed practicals throughout the years. It's a classic one that gets repeated. It was last seen in 2021. It wasn't assessed in 2024. So it makes it a strong contender for coming up this year. Now, a quick tip in particular for the enzymes practical, make sure you're revising things like the control variables that you would need for enzyme controlled reactions. And examiners love the six markers, so you might want to check out my six marker video for help on tips like that, because that can link to practicals as well. Next then, let's talk about combined science paper two, which practicals might come up. And the two practicals are reaction times and field techniques, or sampling in other words. So why those two? Well, reaction times came up three years in a row, 2021, 2022, 2023, but it didn't appear in 2024. So the fact that there's been a year break makes it a potential that it might come up this year. Next then was the field investigations or sampling. And this has been assessed nearly every single year. So I'd say this is probably your most likely one to come up on paper two. So make sure you get confident with things like quadrats, percentage cover, random sampling, belt transect, and also knowing how to calculate your mean, median, and mode, and knowing what the range is. So my top tip, as well as making sure you know all of those, is making sure that you can evaluate a method for sampling. So things like, did they do random sampling to avoid bias? Have they taken a large number of repeats or a large sample to make sure it's representative of the population? Now we move on to separate science or triple science. So biology, GCSE, and what might come up for the practicals for paper one. So the three key practicals that Ms. Messam has come up with based on her data analysis are microscopy, microbiology, and photosynthesis. So the reasons for those, microscopy has been common across both tiers as in foundation and higher, but it hasn't appeared since 2021. So for triple science or separate science, it is definitely overdue that this gets assessed. Next then is the microbiology. This practical often gets overlooked. So this is the aseptic techniques and growing bacteria on agar plates. But there's been a gap since 2021 and it was only on the higher tier paper in 2023. So again, it's a potential that could come up. And then lastly, photosynthesis. This last appeared in 2022 for biology GCSE. So my key tip
tips for this, in particular for the microbiology. Make sure you know how to calculate the zone of inhibition. So think about how to calculate the area of a circle and knowing that the clear area on the agar plate is where the bacteria have been killed by whatever they've applied, whether it is antibiotic or some other antimicrobial substance. Next then is triple science or separate science biology GCSE for paper two. And the two key practicals are decay and field sampling techniques. So reasons why, it's the same thing for field work. This is a safe bet. It gets assessed nearly every single year. Decay was last seen in 2022 and it wasn't assessed in 2023 or 2024. So this practical potentially is a good one that might come up this year. So top tips then, everything that I said about the field sampling technique for combined science, same for triple science. So let's think about decay. Make sure you know how to calculate the rate of decay. And that could be from a table of data or from a graph. And if you do need help with that, I actually go through that in my GCSE notes. And I'll link those in the description below because I've got notes that cover all of the theory and it goes through key marking points. But because that math skill is within the theory, not just the practicals, it comes up in my notes. But you can also look at all of this in my YouTube videos because I cover the entire GCSE in my YouTube channel. So that is it for the potential practicals that might come up for GCSE in 2025. And don't forget, if you do want really targeted help for paper one and for paper two live lessons with me, then sign up using the link below the Pick and Mix lessons. That's it for this week. I'll see you soon.